Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Monica Pai is here, and I've got an awesome treat for you guys. I have my yoga instructor, Crystal. Hello. Um, so I just started maybe a month ago incorporating yoga into my fitness routine. I am not the most flexible. <laughs> um, so I kind of wanted to change that. And bodybuilding and weightlifting kills your flexibility that I didn't have. Um, so I've been doing, there's what I got. Um, we've been doing like a restorative yoga, right? That's what you call it. It's like a combination of restorative and a little bit of yin too. And that's like completely different than what people are used to. Vinyasa style or regular like power based alignment based yoga. So you have, um, you're kind of more like rapid, you know, faster pace, whereas restorative and yin, you're really kind of like taking back like you're just like slowing down everything so that you can like and and i guess in an attempt to gain more flexibility is more the uh the goal and those kind of uh yeah yeah, yeah that's what i mean <laughs> what, what are some of the benefits that you think um yoga has when you do weightlifting okay so this is a really good question i would say one of the benefits of incorporating yoga especially for people who do weightlifting is uh, range of motion i think that when you are doing um uh, specifically i would say alignment based and power based yoga you're not only accessing um you're not only increasing flexibility and creating space but you're also engaging different muscle muscle groups that you wouldn't normally access or even engage when you're doing uh Weightlifting, little muscles in your neck, in your in your shoulders, in your back, uh, definitely in your your fingers and your toes. I mean, yes, that thing that you make me like hold and yes. I feel it right on my feet. I hate. I know since I started doing yoga, um, not only am I squatting deeper, I'm squatting more powerfully. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, there's a tensegrity in our, in your body that you're using all of your muscles, not just your legs. Yeah. Every single muscle in your legs you're using to squat back up or to you know bench and stuff. So I think that's one of the benefits for sure. My squats are like better. They're better, but before they used to be at this whole other mm -hmm. level of horrible, like <laughs> limited. You felt limited. Yes, like I really like... couldn't get much depth. Um, and ever since I've started yoga, my coach is even like, wow, that's you know, awesome. we've done a big improvement. Yeah. So thanks that's to you. That's so cool. So guys, do yoga for <laughs> squats, that's like mine. Oh, how many times do you think you should do yoga if you're somebody that works out? Um, a more realistic number would be anywhere from two to three times. Now, this is if you are not just going to yoga classes, because I know that that's also not something everyone can do right. it's expensive sometimes you have to drive really far and it's like no but like if you're doing an at-home practice even if you're only doing 15 20 30 minutes like doing a little bit like two or three times a week oh my god it's like it, like exponentially like just such a difference what is the best kind of yoga for someone that works out well I think we spoke about this and not flexible like me restorative yeah restorative is well, restorative is good if you work out a lot because um, you, there is no muscle engagement. So it's actually just settle, just like, just relax and let your body naturally open up on its own, you know? Right. So I, restorative is oh, so yummy, like for, especially if you're yeah. sore. Um, yeah. Um, and then I would also say like yin is, is good to try out too. It's, Especially if you have um, any like lower back issues or shoulder stuff, yeah. I think Yin would really help you to open up as well. Well, the day that I had like that little lower back kink yeah. or whatever, mm -hmm. it really, really worked. Um, like I felt great the next day. Yeah, that's awesome. Why would you recommend for someone that does CrossFit or bodybuilding to incorporate yoga into their routine? Uh, this is a really, actually this was one of the, I had like kind of, a tough time answering this question just because like <laughs> I was thinking I was like okay so there is your range of motion that gets better but then I I also um not to get all like you know what's the word metaphysical on you, but <laughs> it helps I think because I think there's a certain focus that you need when you're doing weightlifting yeah. I mean don't get I'm not a weightlifter but when I go to the gym I zone out mm -hmm. and I feel like you I 
that happens a lot in yoga and I think it's because my opinion is because of your breath so you really one of the most important things in yoga is like being able to listen to your breath and being able to not hold your breath in times of difficulty or of, of just like intense like you know like oh my god I'm uncomfortable in this pose I hate it I want to get out I feel like there that happens a lot in weightlifting and you're working out and you're like I really don't like this move and then you like hold your breath and you're just like <laughs> and then no it's like you have to actually like let go inhale and then exhale and it'll get you to that next rep it yeah. gets you to that next set and same thing with yoga it gets you to that next pose so I think breath 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 is like one of the main things why I would recommend yoga to uh, crossfitters and stuff like that and apparently duh she agrees with you <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. Um, you guys are gonna watch a little bit of our yoga class and see how unflexible I am. Thank you. <laughs>